it's unreap. Hmm, I think I know what to do. Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Dr. Pickle and today we would like to discuss on a new topic. So, stay tuned. So, since all of you love pickle a lot, either eat raw or pack in burgers or even remedies for jet lag, late snacking, etc. All of them are still my babies anyway. Baby, pickle, pickle. <coughs> Thus, have you ever thought when on earth does this process exist? And the answer from the right. One, two, three. Okay, the other side. One, two, three. Okay. So, let's check it out. Making pickles around 4,000 years ago using local cucumbers in India. It is known as an archa in northern India. It is used as a way of preserving food for off-season use and long-distance trip, especially sailing through the sea. Although this process is designed to preserve food, pickles are also produced and consumed by people to enjoy the resulting flavors. For information, pickles may also increase the nutritional value of vitamins by increasing vitamin B produced by bacteria. And here, we highlight you the importance of pickle making process number one kill bacteria and make food or vegetable long lasting number two avoid throwing excessive fruits and vegetables at home number three save money and number four of course avoid your unread fruits eaten by insects and birds impressive right now here comes the most creamier part of today I will share to you my simplest recipe on how to do pickles at home. So, let's begin. All you need two unripped mango slices, 500 gram sugar, 700 milliliter water, and one tablespoon salt. First, you need to peel the mango and take out the seeds. Then, cut each fruit into 12 slices. Put all the slices into a container filled with tap water and soak it for 2 hours. This process aims to remove the sour flavor from the mango. Okay, we are done with half of the recipe. Easy, right? So, let me share with you some of the fun facts about this process. Right now, these mangoes are considered as in a state of hypotonic. This state occurs when the plant plays in the solution which has low soil concentration and high water potential by osmosis. Mm, in a simple way to understand, this when the amount of water much much bigger than the plant itself. Clear? You got me? Then, mix the sugar with water and heat the solution on the stove with medium heat until all the sugar dissolves in the water. Put it aside and let it cool for around 2 hours. Next, toast our sliced mangoes and arrange it nicely into a decent container or a mason jar, as you wish. Pour the solution into the container and put a tablespoon of salt and close the container. So, store the pickle in the chiller for 3 days and voila, enjoy your pickles! Remember the moment we pour the sugar solution with the mangoes? Here, it is known as hypotonic. This state occurs when the plant plays in the solution which has a high concentration of solute and low water potential. Here, the water in the vocal of the mango will diffuse out of it through osmosis. Vocal and cytoplasm will shrink, causing the plasma membrane to be pulled away from the sap. This process is called 
plasmolysis. Plasmolysis causes leaves and stems to bend downwards and weak. So, this is our pickle. We can eat these mango pickles anywhere and anytime. Yummy! And for your information, pickle could be done for various types of fruits and vegetables such as steak bean pickles, lime pickles, radish pickles, garlic pickles, chili pickles and many more. That's all for today. Don't forget to try it out at home. And don't forget to click the subscribe button, give a thumbs up and leave your comment below for our next video. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.